In our studio, I'd like to welcome Liv Sanso Hi. and Jerome Blongra. Welcome to Hi. the show, guys. You guys are professional base jumpers, alpinists, wingsuit, flyer people. So you guys, along with Tim Emmett and Manu Guy, have this uh, Trango Airwall project. Um, can you tell me a little bit more about how that's going? Um, yeah, well, to, to explain to, to the people, the, um, this project is to combine high-level um, high alpinism and uh, base jumping on the, um, on, the Trango, on the Nameless Tower in the Trango Ridge. And it's, um, it's a high-level jump because uh, the top of the tower is at 6,200 meters high. Uh, this route, uh, Eternal Flame, is uh, like a mythic route. It's, uh, as climbers, we are all dreaming about this route because all, it's... All the alpinists, yeah. they, they want to... I don't to dream go about to, that route. I have no cares about that route. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, to climb Eternal Flame. It's uh, really a symbol. Right. And this tower is, is special because the rock is so pure. It's uh, perfect granite with uh, slabs and uh, cracks. It's, it's the idea first, is to climb in a beautiful style. We were hoping to train really early this uh, spring. And mm. in, the, in fact, we had um, like really snowy, snowy bad spring, weather. like mm. bad weather mm. and cold and snow. Conditions were great. If Great for here. skiing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for exactly. sure. For the days, yeah. every day. But for us, it was kind of um, not perfect. Also, also, granite climbing is a special style of climbing, and uh, you cannot find this uh, rock everywhere. You have to go in altitude. For example, in Chamonix, it's uh, one of the fam famous places for that because we have all the needles with uh, uh, with many lines. Hugo here is a skateboarder. And he doesn't know too much about climbing equipment. Could you explain to him a, a little bit about what, uh, you know, how do you use a, a cam? And, uh, yeah, and when you have a, a crack, when you climb, you want to protect yourself and put your rope on, on something. And in the case of Air Eternal Flam or other roots, granite roots with cracks, when you see a big cracks, you take the bigger friends you have on, on your harness and you stuck it on the crack. And you put your rope on the on the binner here, and you have all sizes of, of of friends. Like you can have mm. really thin cracks, which is really fingery, and you put some small ones, and then you put your rope, and you know you're safe. But you can also have nuts. Nuts like this, yeah. It's the same For same sure. system. Mm. You you look at the size of the crack, and you're okay. This side might might be good. You put it on it, pull on it, put your binner on your rope. A good nut is super bomber. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's as good as any bowl. Yeah. Mm. The project we have is a really serious project and it's in high altitude. It's a really hard route. Like not a lot of climbers have mm. climbed it or on free it. It's only two people who had free it before. And because of the bad weather here, um, and because we want to do it right in a good proper way and we want to be safe for ourselves. We, um, we are thinking maybe we should postpone the, the project for next summer. I think we have to, to discuss seriously about that because we want to be well prepared to, to do to it. To give the best and yeah. to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll get rid of that guy. Tim, so yeah. we we're just uh, talking about the Trango Airwall project, uh, learning a little bit more about the difficulty of the route, the incredible difficulty of the route and some of the challenges you faced uh, trying to train this summer uh, with all the snow in the Alps and that uh, you know there, it may be the, the smart decision to maybe postpone it till next year. It would seem to me a very smart option to um, be more prepared for a project like this which has got so many variables um, to it. To have never jumped the base rig that I would be using, mm -hmm. and to you, you know, to jump that for the first time on Trango is, uh, it, I think that I wouldn't know what the landing is going to be like, and I think that it's it's uh, critical to land in exactly the right place. Tim, I think I've got an app called Where to Fly <laughs> that you can go and you can check the landings. <laughs> Where to fly? Check that out. Uh, 
I think in order to climb tranquil free, it would be very helpful for us to have a little bit more time. I would like to be prepared more, and I know now it's short time before leaving for for Pakistan. So, yeah, I don't want to go there just for you know jammering on the rope. I, I want to climb for so. <laughs> First, I want to climb. After the the jump, I know for for myself the the jump is not the big deal because I will go there with some wingsuit I know, and uh, I'm a bit experienced on uh, jumping in altitude and so on. But the thing is, uh, yeah. I want to go there for climbing also, and uh, yeah, it was tricky this this spring uh, for that. You know, Tim was talking about uh, his wingsuit, and, and so was Mark earlier. I, how do the wingsuits work? What are they like? Trey, that's a really good question. Whoop. Hey, Jerome, <laughs> where'd you come from? From the sky. And, and what the hell are you wearing? A wingsuit. Uh -huh. Tell us about it. Yeah, in, in fact, it's, uh, yeah, it's like an, all the other wing has a paraglide. You, when you jump, uh, you have the, the air which is going inside the cells here, uh, down to your arms and uh, between your legs. And uh, it allows you to, to be inside, in fact, a real wing. And uh, with your arm and your legs, you, uh, in fact, you make the, the flight possible. And uh, you have to, to keep the, the right angle to, to get speed with. And uh, yeah. Okay. I never knew there were cells like there. So can you open up again? Yeah. So these cells, when air goes in here and inflates, in fact, like a paraglider wing. Exact. Uh, and gives you more lift. Yeah. In fact, okay. it, it works as uh, all the other wing. It means that uh, you have a depression on your back. And uh, when it's uh, inflated uh, with the air, you feel your, your back is going up and you are, yeah, you are, um, inside the wing in fact it's it's really special uh, because if you compare to other to a glide or power glide you have to pilot it right and uh, here you are inside so yeah so it's it's a curious feeling the first feeling is it semi rigid like a paraglider wing yeah 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 is it's rigid when you fly with it's uh, rigid and uh, in fact the air stay inside and you have a lot of pressure in yeah. fact is and there pressure uh, on your body yeah you have pressure also on your body but uh, you feel the it's something like solid uh, mm -hmm. below your arms and here also, and okay. you are after you are sliding in the air. Because in, in you know the videos I've seen, it just seems so effortless. It seems like oh, they're just gliding around. What what is the physicality of it? What's uh... in fact we imagine the first uh, when you don't uh, jump with the wingsuit, you imagine you have to uh, to force a lot with the arms. In, in fact, not you have to be. Uh, you have to be in the right position, but the, the wingsuit is flying itself if you are in the right position. So after, if it's a long flight, yeah, for sure you feel things in your arms okay. because all your body is uh, okay. trying to keep the angle and uh, okay. the right direction and so on. So you're all inflated, it's semi-rigid. What happens if things go wrong? What? Uh... Yeah, uh, in fact, you have to train first from a plane a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have uh, big troubles, you can, uh, you have safety uh, handles here, okay. so you can, you can pull those out a little bit so we can see them. Yeah, and they're velcro on there. Yeah, here. An airbag's not going to pop if I do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's when the airbag comes out. Okay. And, uh, and what does that do? Yeah, in fact, it uh, unfix the the wingsuit, so it means that you have the the arms free. Okay. And you can manage with your rig. You can but see there is a, a yellow cable. Mm. Right. It, it pulls on the, on the cable. I see. Can you, so it opens can you hold the wing. Those so we can see the yellow cable. It comes right here. Yeah. So it goes all the way through here, yeah. Yeah. down into mm. this So you pull mm. on here. it. Mm. And in fact, when you, it works normally, when you have uh, the rig behind you, mm -hmm. uh, you open the rig, and you, after you open okay. the, the suit like this, and you can uh, take the handles and the pilot. To control your yeah. wing. Yeah. Okay. And what is this for? Is this for your cell phone pocket? This, this one, 
No, you, you have no pocket in, in this one, but you can put uh, things inside. In fact, you have booster here to okay. keep the tension of the, of the suit. Okay. And uh, you can put uh, things inside. For example, when you jump in mountain, you can put some ropes and things uh, inside your wing. But it has to fit as much as possible on your body. Okay. Uh, so all the wingsuits they are made uh, with your own size. Okay. Uh, and uh, you have to yeah to take uh, measures and. Uh, yeah. Each one of them is custom made. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Okay. After you can use uh, a medium size, L size, but it's when you buy a new one, you have it has to fit as much as possible. Okay. And I'm thinking that's pretty darn sexy. I'm thinking of getting one. What's it going to cost me? Uh, this model, the Phantom, I don't know the exact price. I think it's more or less... Uh, 600. 600, 600, yeah. 600 euros. I might so. get two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> no, and after there, are, there are different models. For, for example, this one is a medium one. Mm -hmm. There is uh, models for beginners uh, in two pieces, like a jacket and a pant, mm -hmm. but with uh, wings also. Um, for example, yeah. It's not this, my size, but this one is an example. It's a okay. prodigy. Uh, right. suit. And you just uh, on this model, you just clip your wing on your belt. Yeah. Uh, at the last moment, and you have a small wing suit, but it flies uh, very well. Okay. And after also, and it's really technical now because uh, also the wingsuit, uh, depending on what you want to do, but mm -hmm. uh, some are bigger, uh, some are more fast than the other. So okay. you, depending on your level and what you want to do, you choose your model. So how does this wingsuit compare to Gary Connery's? Yeah, it's a little bit less performant, mm -hmm. uh, just a bit less. Mm -hmm. But it's faster, in fact. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it's another. For example, to to land on the boxes, I don't know if it's the right model, but uh, uh, you are enough efficient to to fly in mountains and to uh, to play with the the ground and. Uh, um. Just, I wanted to add, like, when you want to learn wingsuit in France, you need to have like 200 skydives okay. before, and then when you have 200 skydives and. Um, Certain certain degree of um, uh, competence, like it's called brevet C. Mm -hmm. You can you can take an instructor and take a really um, small wingsuit, like the one the small one we showed before, mm -hmm. and then you do your first wingsuit jump, and then a few, and then you can have a bigger one, and you really feel like it's not like skiing, but you really feel. Um, riding like in the yeah. air and the turns Sliding. are really, mm. it's a really good feeling. Wow. Yeah, it's wonderful actually. So cool. Yeah. Also from outside with all the videos we can see now of proximity flying. Most of the people they want to do base jumping for that, but uh, that is the last level yeah, you reach. Process. Yeah, process. And yeah. Uh, yeah, and in fact you have to, to be a really good pi wingsuit pilot to do that first. Okay and uh, after a really good base jumper because uh, you have to know how to fly uh, close to the ground and close to the wall. Well, man, that's all really, really interesting, but uh, we've got some professional women surfers waiting for us. Leave, can you get rid of this guy? <laughs> Bad problem.